Hey everybody, welcome back. In the last lesson we've gone ahead and uh, converted all of our textures out of ZBrush using XNormal uh, to make them JPEGs and ready for use inside of Maya. And before we go ahead and start going any further, I want to show you something. Okay, so what I did here was take all those textures that we converted and in our source images directory of our project folder, I went ahead and created my own module called clownfish textures and this is where I put all those textures and I also went ahead and renamed them um, accordingly so um, whatever one that I wanted to I can go ahead and set the um, uh, progress you know in, in terms of texture whichever one that I want so um, I went ahead and renamed them accordingly and in sequence so we have our clown body texture 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 001 002 003 004 uh, 005. This way, whenever we set this up up inside of Maya, Maya is going to be able to read those textures in sequence, and it's going to know exactly what they are. Okay, so let me go ahead here and pull this off. And the first thing that we need to do here inside of Maya is we need to make sure that we set our textures up with a shader. So let's go ahead here and set up our shading system. And to shade this, what we're going to go ahead and do here, and to launch the Hypershade, all you need to do is come up here to Window, Rendering Editors, uh, Hypershade. We're first going to go ahead and create a V-Ray Blend Material. This is going to be our uh, top material for what is going to actually get applied to our Clownfish. Okay, so creating that, we're just going to hit right click and rename this. And we're going to call this the Clownfish underscore Shader. And organization here is really key, especially when we're having to do this 25 or 30 different times inside of one rig. We're going to go here and create a V-Ray regular material, just a standard V-Ray material. We're also going to create a V-Ray fast skin shader. Okay, so we're going to re rename this um, skin shader here. And we'll just call this the SSS underscore clown fish okay I'm not really worried about this v-ray material too because this isn't really getting applied um, this is just meant here to be effect and we need to go ahead here and create two file nodes as well okay so we'll rename this first one as the clown fish underscore normal and we'll go ahead and create a second one here and we will call this the clownfish underscore texture okay let's go ahead and select our clownfish normal here I'm gonna hit control A I'm gonna turn the filter type here to off and I'm just simply gonna set the location here to the clowny normal okay. which is our body normal map and we'll do the same thing by turning the filter type off for our clownfish texture and we will go ahead here and set the location as our clown body texture 000 okay and let's go ahead and plug these into our shaders so we'll just come up here and plug our texture into the diffuse color for this uh, V-Ray material V-Ray standard material the reflection color and the amount um, gray and point one should be fine it shouldn't be too heavy uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the reflection subdivisions there to 15 and I'm also gonna go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom I'm gonna plug in my normal map to the map section and I'm gonna change the map type here from uh, bump map to normal map and tangent space so there you can see where it doesn't really um, get too blown out now for uh, our subsurface scattering material, I'll just go ahead here and plug our normal map in real quick. Normal map and tangent space. Scroll up here to the top. We're going to take the pre-pass right here and set this to zero. I'm going to take the subsurface scatter color, plug the texture into that. Our scatter radius um, can be three. If you set this too high, it's going to tend to have the light go straight through the body and I don't necessarily want that I want it to have at least some um, brush back and it's holding it back a little bit so it's a little thicker our specular color we're going to take from pure white 
down here to more like, um, I would say that's more like dark gray. The specular amount here we're also going to turn down to match that gray. The specular subdivisions here we can turn this to something like 15 should be fine. Okay. Our options here, our single scatter we're going to leave it simple. The scatter subdivisions here we can turn this up to 15. Okay. And now let's go ahead here and um, plug these into our clownfish uh, blend material. So our base material is going to be our subsurface scatter color. Our coat material is going to be that V-Ray base material. And you can see here where nothing really changes. But what I want to go ahead and do here is turn on additive mode. Okay, so now it gets that little bit whiter. And you can see where it'll get really white or dark as we adjust the uh, blend amount on the V-Ray base material. Okay, so we'll just leave it say pure gray. Let me go ahead here and pull this off screen real quick. Go ahead and close this. Okay, so now with that shader system set up, what we need to do is we need to add the attribute here on the global master controller. Okay. And we can come up here to modify add attribute. We're going to make this an enumerated value. And we're going to call this the clown fish underscore keller changer. You'll notice that I'm whenever I add an attribute to anything in this scene, I'm always using that clownfish um, designation. This way that I will not have any naming convention problems later on down the road whenever I start importing all the rigs and all the modules into one scene to create one massive rig. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and start renaming here. But before we go ahead and do this, what I want to make sure is I take a look here at the colors that we're going to be changing into and I'm going to rename I'm not renaming these file nodes or anything all I am going to do here is just rename the attributes so that it signifies exactly what these colors are so I know say if I wanted to change from um, say something like Nemo into black and white I can go ahead and do that real easy okay so I'm just going to pull that off screen here and We'll start renaming here, so we're going to call this green. Um, uh, something simple like uh, basic color. The second one here, we'll go ahead and rename this to blue underscore white. The third one here will be black underscore white. The fourth one here will be, um, we'll call this clown underscore reddish. The fifth one here will be, uh, we'll call him Nemo. And the last one here is going to be clown, uh, we'll call it clown saturated, underscore saturated. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit add so we can add that attribute to the global master controller here. Okay. And now what we can go ahead and do is select our fish. We will go ahead and apply that blend material to the fish's body. And now we're ready to go ahead and set up the color changers um, using the set driven key inside of Maya. So if you go ahead and hit F2 on your keyboard, you'll get into your animation module set. We'll come up here to Modge or Animate, Set Driven Key Set. And we're going to go ahead and select our master controller. Load that as our driver. We're going to take our clownfish texture. Load that as our driven. And we're going to be um, setting the frame extension here versus the clownfish color changer. So if we go ahead and select those, just making sure here that we're going to be on the basic color, we will go ahead and key this select this we'll go ahead and change from basic color to blue and white and we'll come down here to set the oh i actually went one wrong here i want to make sure that we set this as um at zero so let's go ahead here and make sure that we set that frame extension to zero go back to the basic color we'll go ahead and key that now we can go ahead and jump to the blue and white set the frame extension here to one Go ahead and key that. 
black and white we'll go ahead and set the clownfish texture here to two go ahead and key that clownfish master reddish we'll go ahead and set this to three go ahead and key that set the Nemo clownfish texture we'll go ahead and set this as four go ahead and key that clownfish master we'll set this as the clown saturated and the frame extension is five and we'll go ahead and key that okay so now all that is set up properly what we can do is come in here to our clown texture hit control a and we will go ahead and use image sequence and you'll see that this turns black and that's okay just need to make sure that this is going to change colors as we expect it to so we'll select our global master so this is saturated we'll go back to the basic color and you can see where that changes blue white just make sure that this is all being set up properly black white reddish Nemo that's a very subtle change but it does change and the clown saturated so there you can see where all those change okay and now what we also need to do is go ahead and set up our auto swim feature for our fish yeah we can go ahead and do that in the next lesson uh, and then after that we'll go ahead and actually rig our face so uh, come on back and we will go ahead and set up our auto swim feature here inside of Maya.